Wow, what a day already. It is approximately, let me see if I can see my the numbers on my Fitbit. It is almost one o'clock. I went to a doctor's appointment. Uh, remember, I got some blood work done forever ago. Well, finally got in to see my doctor. Sorry, I'm just opening a drink. And, um, wait one second. I'm so thirsty. All right, so my doctor's appointment went according to scheduled, except for about everything. Huh. I hate when this happens. Now, you tell me if any of you have ever had this happen. I had an appointment today for a medication refill. So, to refill my meds. Um, and I'm literally now thinking that he didn't refill my medicine for my arthritis pain. Because he didn't ask about it. So, if that's the case, I'm going to be a little upset. I'm going to go call the pharmacy or stop and see if they actually sent it over. Fingers crossed. But, first thing, I end up... I look at my clock and it's almost, I think it's almost 10. It was actually almost 9. My appointment was at 10.30. I thought, I better go. It's almost 10. So I, well, I'm not late, you know. And I get over there and as I'm pulling in, it's not even 10. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So now I'm almost an hour early, but whatever, you know, I'll just relax. When I go to check in, the lady tells me, did I fill out the forms they mailed me? No, I didn't fill out any forms. Why would I have forms to fill out for a medication refill? Oh, well, it's for your uh, annual well check appointment. And I'm like, I don't have, I'm not, this isn't an annual well check appointment. This is for a medication refill. That This appointment was made back in August. Well, so after much ado about nothing... They totally scheduled me for the wrong appointment. But, I mean, I was scheduled for a medication review. But, also somehow they snuck in a well check. Which is fine and all. But, I feel like it's way more time. It costs a lot more money. And, I didn't, I don't need to do that. It's recommended. They suggest you should do it. Blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's not mandatory. Oh, your insurance wants you to do it. Well, I don't want to do it. And I don't have to do it. I have rights. Anyways, all this, I get seen. I have to fill out this stupid form. You know, how long, how many times have I felt sad in the last week? Do I get out? And, and it's just a whole bunch of questions that, seriously, if I was having mental health problems, I would go see a mental health professional, you know? But whatever, whatever. I get a lot of people need those forms. I was irritated because, one, I ended up leaving early and getting there early. So now I just have time to kill when I could be doing something, cleaning or whatever. And then they have me scheduled for this extra long appointment that I just want my medicine so I can go. <laughs> and, and then I ask him in the room about the iron. Because y'all know I got my iron drawn back in September. And the reference range is between 50 and like 175 or something, some number like that, your iron. Well, mine was 51. So technically it's normal. Okay, but it's like almost not. And so I asked, can I get iron? And he said, no, the insurance will not cover it because you are almost low, you are not low. Oh my gosh, so. He said, let's do another blood test today and see where your iron is. And then we'll see if it's went lower or whatever. And so I'm just like, whatever. I can't, I can't get iron if the insurance won't pay for it. And out of pocket, it's a few hundred dollars that I, I don't have. So I guess I'll just try to eat more red meat. But I can only consume so much. And my body only absorbs so much of what I consume. And so it's it's a vicious cycle. But I still wouldn't change having the surgery that I had. But I don't know. Anyways, I'm on my way home from the doctor's. I stopped at Walmart because I wanted to get... Mitch needed um, something. And I needed to get a few things. And then I decided to get me a drink. And I got me, I got me a bag of chips. Y'all, these are... Two for a dollar. I haven't seen prices like this since before 2020. Two for a dollar. Or 59 cents each, but 
I'm going to buy two and save that extra 18 cents. So I bought me a bag of chips so I can have some salt and carbs and yeah, um, I'll show you the rest of what I bought at the Walmart as soon as I get home. All right, let's get home. I'm tired of being out. I found the booklet. This is what it was. It was an annual wellness visit. Yeah. I... <sighs> So, because they gave me this little booklet, which really says nothing other than... I mean, it's great if you need this help. It's great that it's there. Medications for chronic conditions. What are advanced directives? Depression as we age. Tobacco. Quitting smoking. Um, what else? Screenings for over the age of 65. Immunizations. Um, weight management. Physical activity. Fall prevention. You know, there's just... All this stuff, in, and then they put your immunizations on the back. Probably cost like 300 bucks for this little booklet. I don't need this at this point in my life, but I'm grateful that they're looking out for me, and I'm trying to be positive about everything, but it's hard when you're irritated. How y'all be positive when you're irritated? I just, that's something I'm, I gotta work. Maybe there's just something in this booklet about being positive when you're irritated. Ugh. Oh my gosh, okay. I need to get home. Let's go. All right. Got home. Got the stuff brought in. Let's see what we got, shall we? All right. I'm going to start with this bag. It's got cold stuff in it. Oh, a big old thing of heavy whipping cream, which I was not happy that they didn't have a smaller container. This is a better deal. The size, that's uh, a half a gallon. But, uh, and we'll definitely use it before December 6th. But it's just that it's a lot of whipped cream, and once you open it, you still have to use it within a certain amount of time or it's going to go bad. So then I got this scene of cottage cheese. I put the whipped cream in the fridge because it's been out of the fridge for a minute. Um, we also got this thing of cottage cheese. It's got 13 grams of protein per serving. I really like the taste of this brand. Do you guys have a favorite brand of cottage cheese that you eat if you eat cottage cheese i just really like this one dairy gold low fat two percent one of these usually lasts our house a couple weeks depending on how often we eat it or if we make like dessert with it it won't last quite as long then i got this uh theme of size sharp cheddar I really like sharp cheddar the best out of all the cheeses just to eat or having on a sandwich or for grilled cheese. Um, do you guys like sharp cheddar? I don't know. I think it's pretty tasty and really cheesy. Yeah. Got some nonstick cooking spray, olive oil. I grabbed this one from Sam's Club. It used to be, let's talk about used to be's, okay? This used to be four something for two cans. Now it's almost seven. That makes me a little sick. Um, so Walmart is doing a customer appreciation right now. So when you go in, they have a table set up and you get a water, a bag of chips. I chose barbecue. And then you get a Reese's and a glow stick. I chose red. I don't know why. Do you know why I chose red? I do know why because it's my favorite color. All right. And then... I bought two bags of these chips so you saw the first one I ate earlier. So I got another one of those. And then I got two cans of pie filling. I got one cherry and one apple and both of these are no sugar added. But I'd get them now because I don't want to take a chance that I might not be able to find them for Thanksgiving and Christmas desserts like cherry cheesecake or some little tarts you know that I might make up. And I just wanted to have these yummy fillings with no sugar in them. And then I picked up this treat for myself because I'm worth it. I really, really like these strawberry cream um, coated little, they're like little uh, truffles. They're so good. And then I picked up two boxes of peach sugar-free jello. I just, I like to keep sugar-free jellos and puddings on hand. And I got two boxes of banana cream pudding, definitely for Thanksgiving coming up. And two boxes of chocolate to make pie, like cream pie. So I have a banana cream pie and a chocolate cream pie made out of those. And we have a whole other bag here 
Let's see what's in here. So this is what I needed to get Mitchell. I got him a new water pick. His was started making a weird noise. He's had it for a little over a year and warranty's up. So we just decided, you know what, just get a new one. And then I got a big bag of floss picks for Cody to take on her mission. We have plenty already here. Um, but those we'll just pack for her. And then I got these for her to also take with her on her mission. So if she's out and about and she feels like her teeth feel gross, she could just pull one of these out of her bag and just brush on the go. You don't need toothpaste water. It's got everything right in it. And I thought that might be good for her. You know, she could just take one and carry it in her purse. But yeah, that is all the stuff I got today at the Walmart and, um, and Sam's Club. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing. Um, I'm super excited to share with you a lot of upcoming recipe ideas. I have um, been told that my mac and cheese is amazing. And it's super, super simple and easy. Um, it it's obviously has carbs, but it's so delicious. And a spoiler here and there, you know, like you just... Not spoiler, spoiler alert. Like I treat myself every now and then, like Thanksgiving, birthdays, Christmas, whatever. I'll have a, I'll have mac and cheese if I want it, but it's not an everyday thing that I make it all the time. So I'm going to be making it again. And this time I'll film it because they've told my sister, um, her channel is Life with Granny T, that Aunt Candy's mac and cheese is the best mac and cheese. Mine's pretty simple. So that's coming up. Um, using up some of my dehydrated items, freezer cleanouts, a lot of stuff coming up. So be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Um, if you haven't done that, just turn the bell. You'll get notified every time I post a video. All right, I got to clean. I got to eat lunch, and then I got to clean my living room in preparation for the Christmas tree. Oh, I'm excited. It's my favorite time of year. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.